real fight! Kid, what do you want? This is Lord Norton's turf, so beat it or else. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to know if you've seen a little boy around here. A little boy? Oh, you mean Nicholas. Yeah, he came around here blabbering about getting something back and wanting to see Lord Norton. Then what did he do? Being the kind-hearted fellas we are, we gave the stupid kid what he wanted. I bet Lord Norton's re-educating the undisciplined little brat right now. What? It's the kid's own fault. Nothing good can come from messing with Lord Norton. Don't worry, he'll learn it's better to join us than fight us. It's a shame. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Idiocy must run in the family. Rotten little... Whoa there! Didn't I just say you can't pass through here? Wanna see that brat? You gotta beat us first. Thomas, what gives you the right? Looks like we got another village idiot in need of some education. Ha! No problem! Blade! Sight! Blade! Sight! Blade of Fury! That was fun! Oh. 
So Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. I better hurry up and find him. Nicholas, you okay? Fate, why are you here? That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts, I wanted to get them back. I, I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You must leave. Quickly. He'll get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. Must leave. This is bad. I better hurry. Think. Think. Oh, yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator, or... wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my communicator. Yeah.
What am I thinking? There's no time. Hold on, Nicholas. I'll get you out. Hang in there, Nicholas. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, right. My translator was built into that communicator. No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. Let's go. Freeze! No funny moves if you want to stay alive. Play nice and I'll let you live a little longer. That was a phase gun. So you must be Norton. Yeah, that's me. I am Norton the Great. <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of the Federation. Razor? I've heard of that world. Right. That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? Huh? That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys, they're dead, the poor fools. They were trying to send out a distress signal and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. Bam! <laughs> that crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilled milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. You'll be happy to know I'm gonna make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. Guys like you. Huh? What the? Ah, there you are. I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. Might never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well then, who are you? Cliff Fitter. A Clausian and member of Quark. A Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kinda in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that Earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. 
I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? <laughs> you talking to me? You think it could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. Oh, real truth! Blade! Sight! I felt that! Blade of Fury! Blade! Sight! Blade of Fury! Help this! It's mine! My kingdom! Was easy. Well, so much for that guy, but I did try to warn him. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man. And he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti Federation group? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Here. Is this a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Uh, um, thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved my life. Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see, I've come to abduct you. What? Now don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just... My boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Haida and ran into that mess, thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez. Just kidding. Don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now. And I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? What else do you know? Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah, I do know what your old man Dr. Leingod was researching. You mean symbological genetics? My dad's an authority in that field, so it's no surprise you've heard of him. Right, symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind, that doesn't matter right now. <sighs> Come on, you don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendine. 
So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So, are you coming or not? Okay. I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure. Whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. 